because this world could be a total yeah so i didn't quit the carnivore diet but i think you might have because maybe you clicked on this video because you quit your diet and you wanted me to tell you it was okay to quit your diet or maybe not i don't know why you clicked the button i also don't know why you didn't click the button if you didn't click on it i want to die anytime soon gotta do something about this i did something i finally did something now i think i'm gonna live Wake up. So what I really want to talk about today is a different way of thinking. Not about starting diets, not about quitting diets, but a better way I think about thinking. And also I'm going to share one of my biggest struggles here at the end when it comes to my diet. I have actually found that it's not that we really want to quit when we feel like we want to quit. It's not like we really want to stop what we're doing. What really gets to us is we get tired and, and tired of trying, trying, trying. Effort is hard. Effort takes effort. Trying is trying and we get tired of it and we get worn out and we want to just stop giving things the headspace because we have other things to worry about. There's other things that are pressing in our lives, other things that we struggle with and worry about. And sometimes we just feel like we need to quit. So we give ourselves a rest and our brain space back. And so we can breathe in our lives. Trying is one of those things that takes us out of our comfort zones. It builds persistence, character, just makes you a better person in the long run. And all these things are super good, they're good. Not just good, super good, but they're hard. Things are hard, difficult. Have you ever just given up? Have you ever just quit something forever? Just like, I'm never doing that again. Maybe some, some things, but on other, on other things, I bet you just, you did try again. You tried to innovate. You tried to look at things from a different angle, you tried to change your perspective on it. And you tried again. Continuing to try takes courage innovating and trying again takes courage courage is effort you have to be courageous it's not easy it's something you do that is hard one of the things that i have found is like i can have an attitude of trying coming out of a season of not wanting to try and i'll be like i'm going on my diet i'm, I'm doing this right now and guess what? I try for like five minutes and I'm walking into the store and I'm sucking my gut in. And I'm like, dude, I've made all this progress. I've made all this progress. Well, I haven't made really any progress at all except for the fact that I'm trying. And that trying gives you self-confidence in yourself because you know you're headed somewhere. You're not just stuck in a pit or a deep, dark corner of despair. You're courageous, you're headed into battle against yourself, your old self. You're headed towards who you wanna be, who you, who you wanna see yourself be. You see courage in somebody else and it inspired you and now you're that person or striving to be. Wow, trying takes courage and it's hard and it's tough, but it makes all the difference in our head up here billy madison also i want to thank armor claustrum for sponsoring today's video and supporting this channel i have been recently been dealing with some skin and gut health issues so when they reached out to us about teaming up i was really excited to give their product a try Clostrum is a dairy bioactive whole food produced by all mammals in the first 48 to 72 hours after giving birth and it contains the vital nutrients our bodies need to thrive. Armor Clostrum comes in an easy to digest powder with over 400 functional nutrients like peptides, antibodies, antioxidants that support your cells, gut, immune system, and so much more. It works by strengthening your mucosal barriers, which are your body's internal guard against environmental threats. They use cold chain biopotent pasteurization technology which uses low heat to protect and preserve the nutrients in their purest and most potent form. I feel confident about using Armor Colostrum because they go above and beyond with third-party testing and auditing to ensure the product meets the highest bar of purity which includes
includes being certified glyphosate free. Now I love that it is supporting my skin, my gut health, my immune system and more, but I also love that it's gonna support my mood, my focus and energy. As a busy homeschooling mom of eight, that gives me a greater ability to focus on them and less time focused on me. Since this is a bioactive whole food, I feel confident using as much as I need and I found that three to four scoops in a day is usually what I prefer. Now I like to mix it into some cold water and drink it in the morning, but I've also found that I don't mind putting a little bit of the dry powder directly on my tongue. Now I was a little concerned going in because I don't love milk, but this has such a mild flavor, I've really come to enjoy it. This product has thousands of five-star reviews and testimonials from satisfied customers. And if you want to give Armour Colostrum a try, you can go online now to tryarmra.com slash Kilby for 15% off your first order. Again, that's T-R-Y-A-R-M-R-A.com slash Kilby. And we'll put that link right here on the screen. Are you a liar? Are you a big fat liar? No pun intended if you're thinking you're fat. I'm just saying, are you a liar? Because you'll know if you're lying to yourself. Because if you lie to yourself and haven't put in maximum effort, you'll know it. But if you do put in maximum effort, you will know it. And it will make you feel good about yourself. It will make you operate and carry yourself with confidence. Because you know where you're headed. And people will see that. People will see that. And it won't come across as like cocky because it's something you're fighting through. It'll be something that it is inspiring because people could see the passion behind it because they could see the pain behind it because you're trying and you're trying to be courageous because you're up against something that you feel is hurting you. And now you're fighting back. And now others were gonna wanna fight back. And then we're all gonna be fighting the good fight. And everywhere we look, someone's encouraging us to be courageous and to keep trying and not to give up because this world could be a total biatch in so many different ways and not just health and what we're consuming. You know, you, you know, and if you don't, just click off. So back to my biggest struggle. My biggest struggle is rest. I have the mindset that I will rest when I'm dead and when I rest, it's I'm quitting trying. No, you could still try and rest. You could still be where you need to be, where God called you to be, and rest. And I can't get it through my thick skull. I know that God rested. God didn't need the rest. It was an example for me to rest. So, if you need to eat a snack, I mean a steak, and take a nap and give yourself a break. It doesn't mean you're not trying, it just means you're taking a pause to get some rest. Aaron, I'm confused. So you want me to not stop trying and stop trying at the same time? Yes, because there is no try, there is only do. I guarantee I butchered that. <laughs> All right, so here's, here's some things to do for rest. Read a book. I got some books up here. I got a, this is my study Bible I put up here. This is my second Bible. I wore out my first one, then I got this other one and wore it out, but then I got my first one fixed. Now I got it up here. I have some of my favorite books, uh, The Blessed Life by Robert Morris, Marriage on the Rock from Jimmy Evans, which I've taught through a bunch of times, and yes, Reading these books uh, made me more charismatic <laughs> than, I, than uh, the Baptist kind of roots that I got thrust into from my father and my wife. I got this Jordan Peterson book, 12 Rules for Life. One of the best books I've ever read. I got the Salt Fix, the Ultimate Ketogenic Fitness book. I got the Carnivore Diet book. I don't know. I don't know what is restful for you what gives you rest. I don't know what satisfies your soul, helps you be at peace, helps you be you, helps you know that you're on task, running towards something, but taking a break real quick. Someone told me that I need to make notes so I don't ramble. Goodbye. Goodbye.